Did you know that money is the number one cause of stress in relationships and nearly 70% of couples argue about finances? If you're tired of those stressful money talks, this video is for you. Today, we're tackling an important topic, budgeting for couples and managing finances together. Why budgeting together is important. Money matters can be tricky, but having a joint budget helps you stay on the same page. It promotes transparency, trust, and teamwork. Plus, when you combine your financial efforts, you can achieve your goals faster and more efficiently. Imagine this, you and your partner want to save for a dream vacation. By budgeting together, you can track your progress, adjust your spending, and reach your goal without any financial surprises. Tip one, have an open and honest conversation. Start by sitting down together and having an open conversation about your finances. Discuss your income, expenses, debts, and financial goals. It's important to be honest and transparent. No hiding that secret shopping spree. My wife and I once had a heart-to-heart -heart about her spending habits. Through that conversation, we discovered her spending was a way to fill the gap left by my inattentiveness to her needs. I share this with you because being honest and open with your partner not only improves communication about finances, but can also strengthen your relationship in ways you never imagined. Tip 2. Set joint financial goals. Next, set some joint financial goals. Whether it's saving for a house, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund, having shared goals gives you something to work toward together. Make sure your goals are specific, measurable, and realistic. For example, instead of saying, we want to save money, try. We want to save $5,000 for a down payment on a house in the next 12 months. This gives you a clear target and timeline. If you're finding these tips helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment with your own tips or questions about managing finances as a couple. Stay tuned. Next up, we'll dive into more practical tips to help you budget effectively together. Now for some practical steps to help you and your partner budget effectively together. These tips will make managing your finances as a couple a breeze. Tip three, create a joint budget. Start by creating a joint budget that outlines all your combined income and expenses. This includes rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, entertainment, and any other recurring costs. Use a budgeting tool or app to keep track of everything in one place. One of my friends swears by their shared spreadsheet on Google Sheets. They both update it regularly, and it's accessible from anywhere, making it easy to stay on top of their finances. Tip 4. Allocate personal spending money. It's important to have some personal spending money within your budget. Allocate a set amount for each of you to spend however you like, without any questions asked. This helps prevent feelings of restriction and allows for some financial independence. For instance, my wife loves books, and I'm a sucker for new gamed. By giving ourselves a personal allowance, we can enjoy our hobbies without guilt or financial strain. Tip 5. Review your budget regularly. Regularly reviewing your budget is crucial. Set a monthly money date to go over your finances together. Discuss what's working, what's not, and make any necessary adjustments. This keeps you both engaged and accountable. My partner and I make our money dates fun by turning them into mini celebrations. We grab some snacks, put on our favorite music, and make it a positive experience. It's a great way to stay connected and motivated. Tip six, tackle debt together. If you have any debts, work together to pay them off. Start with the high interest debts first and consider using the snowball or avalanche method. Supporting each other through this process can make it less daunting and more achievable. I remember when we tackled our student loans together. By combining our efforts and cutting back on non-essential expenses, we paid off our loans faster than we thought possible. It felt amazing to achieve that milestone as a team. What do you think so far? Drop a comment below with your thoughts and any tips you have for budgeting as a couple. Now that we've covered some practical budgeting steps, let's focus on the importance of communication and flexibility in managing your finances together. These elements are key to a successful financial partnership. Tip 7. Communicate regularly. Regular communication about your finances is essential. Make it a habit to discuss money matters because it should be mandatory for healthy finances and a healthy relationship. This helps avoid misunderstandings and ensures you're both on the same page. I know a couple who has a quick financial check-in every Sunday. They review their spending for the week, discuss any upcoming expenses, and adjust their budget if needed. This routine has strengthened their financial teamwork. Tip 8. Be honest about financial mistakes. We all make mistakes, and it's important to be honest about them. If you overspend or make a financial misstep, own up to it and work together to find a solution. Blaming each other won't help. Teamwork will. 
I once splurged on a gadget without discussing it with my partner. When the bill came, I felt terrible. We talked it through, and instead of arguing, we adjusted our budget to accommodate the purchase. Honesty really is the best policy. Tip 9. Stay flexible. Life is unpredictable, and sometimes you need to adjust your budget. Stay flexible and be willing to make changes as needed. Whether it's an unexpected expense or a change in income, adapt your budget to fit your current situation. For example, my friend's partner unexpectedly lost their job last year. They had to rework their budget to live on one income temporarily. By staying flexible and supporting each other, they navigated the challenge without too much stress. Tip 10. Celebrate financial wins. Don't forget to celebrate your financial successes, no matter how small. Whether it's paying off a debt, reaching a savings milestone, or sticking to your budget for the month. Take time to acknowledge and celebrate your achievements. My wife and I were faced with a big expense, a new furnace and AC unit. Financing it meant 15 years of payments at $100 a month. It didn't seem like much at first, especially with a fixed interest rate of just 4%. But we had another goal, paying off our high interest credit cards. So we decided to get a home equity line of credit. There was a catch, though we had to use the new line of credit to pay off the furnace and AC. It wasn't our original plan, but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Instead of 15 years, we knocked it out in just four months. This saved us hundreds in interest, even though the home equity line had a higher rate. But that's a story for another time on how Velocity Banking saved me from paying years of interest. Share your thoughts and any additional tips you have in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Coming up next are some creative and unconventional tips for managing finances as a couple. We're going to explore some creative and unconventional tips for managing finances together as a couple. These ideas might surprise you, but they can make a big difference in your financial journey. Tip 11. Have a financial date night. Turn budgeting into a fun and romantic activity by having a financial date night. Set aside time each month to review your finances over a nice meal or dessert. Make it enjoyable by creating a comfortable and relaxed atmosphere. My partner and I light some candles, play our favorite music, and make our financial date nights something to look forward to. It's a great way to bond while staying on top of our finances. Tip 12. Create a fun fund. Set up a separate savings account for fun activities and experiences. Both of you contribute regularly to this fund and use it for vacations, special dates, or spontaneous adventures. This way, you can enjoy life without feeling guilty about spending. We started a fun fund for our anniversary trips. Knowing we have money set aside for special moments makes it easier to stick to our budget in other areas. Tip 13. Try the envelope system. Use the envelope system for discretionary spending. Allocate cash for different categories like dining out, entertainment, and shopping, and place the cash in labeled envelopes. Once the money is gone, it's gone, no overspending. One month, we tried the envelope system and were amazed at how it curbed our impulse purchases. It's a simple but effective way to control spending. Tip 14. Set up financial challenges. Make saving money a fun game by setting up financial challenges. Challenge each other to see who can save more. Spend less or find the best deals. The winner gets a small reward, like choosing the next date night activity. We once had a challenge to see who could find the best grocery deals. Not only did we save money, but we also discovered new ways to be frugal and had a blast doing it. My wife tends to win this more than me, but in the end, we both win. If you are intrigued so far, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified so you don't miss out. Let's dive back in. Tip 15. Plan for the future together. Take time to plan for the future. Discuss your long-term financial goals, retirement plans, and dreams. Having a shared vision for the future strengthens your financial partnership and keeps you motivated. My wife and I love dreaming about our future home and retirement plans. It gives us a sense of purpose and makes the daily budgeting efforts feel worthwhile. If you are wondering about retirement or on more budgeting tips on different types of budgets, check out these videos here or the playlists on Mandatory Money Matters.